Welcome back everyone to Dark Moon Diaries 52. Where we last were, we uh, saw a nice little tearjerker moment. Really sad. Poor Ardbert can't help anyone right now. But he can through us, I guess. Also, look at the poogie. It's so cute. Oh. Encoding overloaded. Wow. Of course it is. The others are helping to treat the wounded. I'm planning to assist in moving them, but even so, we simply don't have enough hands. I'm sure you're fit to fall over after what we've been through. Gods, I know I am. But if you could see to a few, pa few of the patients, it would be an enormous help. Captain Lina is about somewhere, so you might also consider asking her if there are any other outstanding areas of need. We'll talk later. Do we have flight here yet? We do. What? We have flight here. Yeah. I shall aid the wounded. While eating my hot Cheetos. I... I... With tear-filled eyes, the prone man gazes up at you. His fingers twitch as if to reach for you, but he lacks the strength to raise his hands. Little do we know he just wants to murder us. <coughs> oh god. Where's the other dying people? There's a tremor. Uh, in guard. the corner of the house? Yep, we got him there. I'm a little further out by the step, or the, I don't know. Don't touch me! I, I, I killed her. She was one of them, I know, but I, Oh, he killed a friend. Where the heck is his last one? Ah, there you are. <clears throat> Th thank you, but it's too late. One of them, it got me. If I turn, please, please kill me. I beg you. Uh, why is it always the dark people always mute religious verses? You'll understand when he gets the toxin. Is it a talking cutscene? Yeah. Yay. Oh, I did not see you there. Is there something you need? Another. A captain's place is with her soldiers in the field. Don't pretend you're not of the same mind. You fought well today. Saved a great many lives. Thank you. Unfortunately, this war is far from over. We must replenish our ranks and sure up our defenses before they attack again. Now, if you will excuse me. He gave out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Fine. Completely and utterly fine. Better than fine. Hail and hearty and still alive to mourn those who are not. Who I failed to protect when they needed me most. We've come so far, so goddamn far. I could have sworn the end was in sight. Now 
Bothry's ship is already gone. How flattering they came all this way just to give us a little speech. I apologize for my earlier outburst. Rest assured that I have no intention of allowing any of my wounds to affect the performance of my duties. Especially not now. <coughs> if I may, could I ask that you seek out Thankard and Minfilia for me? <coughs> they did endanger themselves on my behalf, and I would feel better knowing that they are well looked after. Thankwin, in particular, sustained quite an injury from that Sin Eater. I would not be surprised if he were in Spagri... Spagirix? Still. Spagirix? I don't know how to pronounce that. Please, give them my thanks. Dang. Where is this? He's back in the Crystarium? You didn't teleport there? No, I was clearing the map while I was waiting for you. Like... What? Where is he? Must be down here. Yeah, okay. You're here for me. I'm sorry to put you to the trouble. I'm fine, really. <clears throat> the Eater landed an unfortunately solid blow, but the healers here have done wonders. I'm more worried about Minfilia. She's not taking it well. Could I ask you to speak with her? My attempts to reach out seem to have had the opposite effect. She's gone off to the Hortorium, ostensibly, to fetch herbs for Chesimile. But just talk to her, will you? What the heck? Are we like. Is he upstairs? He's down. can't go this way. Oh yeah, you can. You just jump down. You just you can go to Temenos Rookery and jump down from the tree. Yeah, that's where I was already going. Ooh. 
Oh, Glacier, what are you doing here? Thank Grid. It's my fault, you know. I jumped at the chance to help Lina, but I was careless, and now... It's my fault. Are you sure? I've brought him nothing but trouble thus far. And what if it's worse next time? All I do is make mistakes, put others in danger. I'm sure that he'll resent me for being this weak. Maybe he already does. But you're right. I can still help. If only by seeing these herbs safely to Chesimau. There are only two left on the list, but I'll need to ask about this one. I've looked high and low and I can't seem to find it anywhere. Would you mind collecting the other? I would hate to delay any longer than I already have. You're looking for something with soft leaves that's very fragrant. In an unmistakably medicinal way, I was told. We only need two sprigs or so. Once you've gotten them, you can bring them directly to Chesimal. Whoever gets there first can explain that the other will be back shortly. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Those two over there. It was these two. Gotta go to Chesil Meal. Uh, Dossal Gate. Okay, well, I guess I'm just running because I couldn't find the teleport. Aether Crystal. You were supposed to go left instead of right. Oh, we gotta run out of it instead. Oh, hi. Uh, Made it at the same time. Yeah. Don't know where I actually am going. Hmm? I forget I had to go out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Minfilia told me you were bringing me the rest. Marvelous. With this, I can replenish our stores of medicines. We're struggling to keep up with the number of wounded that are being brought in. I wasn't on the field, but it doesn't matter. The patient's faces make that plain that the event was a horrible thing. I completely read wrong lines. <laughs> and we're still fighting it, I suppose. Though with better medicine rather than sharp steel. But we'll win. I promise you that. Yeah, damn right we're gonna win. Kick all their asses. Murder of all three. It seems that I owe you an apology for dragging you to yet another battlefield when you've just come off the front lines. In both cases, I'm sure your efforts saved more than a few. With Spagyrix in good working order, the Crystarian people will be cared for. More lie ahead, of course. Battles only you can fight. Not that we intend to let you do it alone, but that's a matter to discuss with the Exarch. <clears throat> you know the Exarch? <coughs> we do. Was there something you needed? I need you to tell him something for me. My dearest friend, you see. He was there on the battlefield with me, but only the one of us is here to speak of it. At the end, before the wound killed him, I heard his dying words. I never knew that our world was this beautiful, he told me. I'm so glad that I got to see the night sky. I don't know how the Exarch feels about what happened out there. I don't know if what Vothri said is true. If our losses were our just desserts. 
and we doom ourselves to worse by continuing to fight this fight. But I believe in the Warrior of Darkness, in the Crystal Axarch. I don't think what they've done is wrong, and I don't think we're wrong to fight with them either. My friend, he smiled, and in the he smiled in the end, just as he smiled when he raised his glass to celebrate the return of the night. That's how I want to remember him. So I, I want to tell the Exarch, don't give up, don't give in, please. We'll tell him you have our word. God, that is so sad. Why is this game already doing this? <clears throat> if you're ready, why not go on ahead to the ocular? You can keep the XR company while I fetch off, you know. Don't worry, I mean to borrow the swiftest tomorrow I can find, so we shouldn't keep you long. Be sure to pass on that message, eh? Talking cutscene? Hello? Yep. You have business with the Crystal Axar. Just say the word and I would be happy to escort you to the ocular. Welcome, my friend. Tales of your heroism on the battlefield precede you, though I confess I found them more gladdening than surprising. I hear no few of our people have you thanked for plucking them from the jaws of death. Would that they had not needed saving to begin with. But the responsibility for that lies with me. One of the soldiers said that. Thank you. Rest assured that I fully intend to continue our work. I will not shrink from what must be done, now least of all. Though I mourn the lost, I will not lose myself to grief, and even should regret be my constant companion, I will follow the path I have chosen to its end. Of that I have no doubt, and if we should ever appear to falter, it will only be because we are fatigued after a battle well fought. I thank you for your kind words. Now, we have plans to make, do we not? Safe. Thank you. We are blessed to have you with us. 
As for the attack itself, Vorfri may call it the divine retribution, but Sin Eaters are creatures of instinct. A coordinated assault is unprecedented. Moreover, in the absence of a light world, there should have been no compulsion for lesser Sin Eaters to congregate here en masse. All of which points to a Bot 3 is a light warden. That these minions of light answer to a higher power. Claim kinship with them, who did boast of control, not in idleness, twas he, but in earnest. Lord Vorthry. Indeed. What I mistook for bluster was in fact the truth. The Sin Eaters are his to command. If he imagines this show of force would convince us to bend the knee, he is sorely mistaken. I take it your meeting in Yormor did not end well. You could say that, yes. But I am wiser for the experience, nevertheless. It appears he has mastered a technique which allows him to enslave the minds of others. A fact I discovered when he attempted to use it on me. And that would go some way towards explaining the peculiar reverence afforded him by his subjects. There may feasibly be a handful of true believers among them, I suppose. But it would not surprise me if the vast majority were in his thrall. Had I not anticipated his treachery, I might well have joined him. But seeing his invitation for what it was, I sent a glamour in my stead. I rather doubt such tricks would avail me a second time, however. Did you have any luck tracking down the Light Warden in Calusia? Sadly, I have nothing to report on that front. What of Armoran? After a fruitless few days scouring ruins, I resorted to asking the locals. While no one I spoke to had seen any sign of a warden, I did uncover <coughs> a lead, an abandoned mine in Western Armoran. From what the Morden taught me, it would be a perfect place to stay out of sight. Of course, I could never hope to explore such a labyrinth quickly or safely on my own, so I returned here. Even should we all said in December, an exhaustive search could take weeks. And with no guarantee of finding anything. May I have cookie? No. Okay. The wardens harbor vast reservoirs of primordial light, do they not? Far beyond anything found in lesser sin eaters. And isn't it true that the Oracle could see the light of a sin eater from miles away? Surely a warden would seem like a blazing beacon by comparison. To the real Oracle of Light, I mean, the real Nymphilia. He has the same eyes as him. If we travel to Armoren, to the south where she halted the flood, I could summon her back. What do you think? presume to know my mind. You have no idea what you're proposing. But I do. I know why you never said anything. Because you thought you could keep me safe by keeping me in the dark. And maybe I thought so too. But I knew, Beckwith. I always knew. You were a rather underwhelming reincarnation, but it all makes sense now. The Oracle lies dormant within you, doesn't she? But to draw on her true power, you must become one, both body and soul. To wit, one being must consume the other. Who shall be the lucky winner? This doesn't concern you, Asia. It concerns you. Which is why your heart <laughs> is ready to burst out of your chest. Despite the raging tempest in your bosom, however, 
you have never once opened up to your young charge. Now, why would that be? Love. Well, I, for one, think it's a marvelous idea. Certainly more promising than any of your <coughs> suggestions. So, it's off to Armorang we go. Damn. Damn. I'm sorry to be so insistent, but I know this is the only way. If you're willing to give me a chance, come with us. Uh, I guess this one's gonna be a bit of a longer episode, huh? Because we're already about 26 minutes into it. Oh well, I'm gonna make it a bit of a longer episode. Sorry for the wait. I'm ready now. <clears throat> Look, no matter what happens to me, I'm sure that I don't want to go back to being who I was. I want to be stronger. Strong enough to face my destiny. And I want to believe that I can play a part in saving this world. I hope you can find it in yourself to believe it too. When you put it that way, how could we not? <clears throat> it is your decision to make. Just be sure that you are prepared when the time comes. If all are assembled, shall we depart? We'll follow your lead. What route would you have us take? About that, there's something I neglected to mention. I saw Yulmar an airship coming in to land over Armorang while I was on my way back to the Crystarium. No doubt the same vessel that bore Bothry's forces to Raktika. Meaning we can expect to encounter armed resistance on our journey through the region. Right. Now, Naboth Orang lies in the southern reaches of Armorang, and there are two routes we can take to get there. The first is the eastern route, which would lead us past Mordsuk. <clears throat> the other is the western route, which would require us to pass through the hills of Amber. Minfilia and I took the eastern route last time. Yes, that's the more well-trodden path. It also makes for easier traversal of the Naboth severance. But we can't use it. If we did, we need to cross the severance from a point nearby the inn at Journey's Head. If the Yomorans caught wind of our approach, it could very well bring them into contact with the inn and its patients, and we can be sure their activities would not meet with Vothri's approval. It will make the journey more arduous, but I believe it would be safer to take the western route, which brings me to my proposition. <coughs> While you make for the hills of Amber in the west, I will draw the Yulmoran's attention elsewhere. 
to an area in the east that I know to be uninhabited. uninhabited. <clears throat> that way you'll have a chance at reaching Nabatharang unopposed and without risk to civilians. Hmm. I cannot deny that it's a sound plan, but nor can I allow you to go alone. My skills will make your task at least somewhat easier, will they not? I will accompany you as well. It will afford us a chance to have a proper conversation. And if I go with the others, I'm likely to say something Thancred will regret. Well then, we'll leave the work of distracting Bothry's forces to you. The rest of us will take the western route and try to avoid attracting attention. With that in mind, I think it best that we follow the road from the bridges. We'll move faster with a solid path under our feet. We'll borrow a few Amaro for our own journey. I leave the rest to you, Minfilia. Thank you. I'll try not to disappoint. If you run right through... I'm waiting there with the car. Are we supposed to just run right through? Yeah, and then just fly right over. Yeah. <clears throat> it's already going to be a very long episode. Let's go! It's a dragon. You're a dragon. <clears throat> there you are. The gate leading to Amarang is just up ahead. In all the time I've been here, I've never ventured into the Hills of Amber. Not that I'm particularly intimidated by new lands at this point, but we have more than enough reasons to be cautious as it is. Keep an, uh, an eye on Minfilia for me, would you? Armoring. Oh, it's the top part of Armoring, which we've already done. <laughs> nice. Oof, off so soon, Master Tiger. You barely had time to recover from the battle. Well, if you're certain, I'm hardly in a position to question you. Damn right, you better not question me. Shh. Take comfort in the bonds you share. Accept the pain when the time comes to part. Press on, for joy and sorrow walk hand in hand. Beyond Mount Garik lie the hills of Amber, Beneath which run hidden veins of mineral wealth. Or ran, at least. Mayhap they are spent. Or mayhap the ringing of hammers can yet be heard below. call it a quest here. This place has been scarred by the flood too. Who can say what lies ahead? But whatever else this road may be, it is mine to travel. And I don't plan to take a moment of the time I spend upon it for granted. And with that right there, we are going to call it an episode. Let me just see what my new headgear looks like. Let's just update that gear set. We will see you guys in the next one.